Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building. Philly in the building. LGB Qua. That'd the be the name. That'd be the name. AK, the voice of the youth, man. We here, man. Been a minute, but we here. LGP in the building. What's up, bro? I can't never call. It's all about you, bro. Man, here, come though. on. What's up, bro? How you doing? No, been? but we here, though. I've been good, though. You feel me? It's been a good year. Blessed, great year. You feel me? We, you know, popping out of nowhere. Building up a lot of momentum. I got a lot going on as far as my first project. That's called The Best Is Yet To Come. Right. I plan for that to come sometime in the summer. You get what well, I'm we saying? We're going to get into oh, that. No, we before get we get into that, that I got to give a, a, a special shout out to London Hill. You know what ooh, I'm saying? Ooh, Big that's, London. That's us. That's us. She know the vibes. She Big know the vibes. London. She know the vibes. Um, before I was even in this space, when I did like my one of my first in-person interviews back since the pandemic, I did it with London. Okay. And it was at that time, I think y'all had worked on a record together. Uh, and she had put you on my radar, no pun intended. And I was like, I was like, yo, this kid is fire. And then it just so happens that a few, I, I peeped that you followed me like not too long ago, and then the rest was history. And I was right, like, man, right, I'm right. like, I've been waiting for this because I had seen like your block work vid. I had seen a bunch of the other freestyles you've done. That's obviously, the interview. So I've been seeing the work over time. So I always say that things always line up exactly how they're supposed to line up when they're supposed to line up. That's a fact. And now we're here. Yeah, we here, and I'm glad we finally doing. It. I've been watching your uh, platform for a little minute now. I've seen a lot of. Talented artists come through. I seen a lot of big names come through doing their thing. So I'm like, damn, it's only right. Come Got a few Philly it. people who who. Uh, I said, I said, yeah, Zah, yeah, yeah. I seen, yeah. You had definitely had Zap here. Yeah, yeah Rico, You had a couple. You definitely had a couple Philly guys up there. Did we have anybody else from Philly? I can't remember. There's been a lot of. Oh, I've had, I've done like Young K and them. Um, okay. okay. Little Mook, I had a long time ago, but we lost this thing because of a hard drive crash. So I had man, a, shout I, out, listen, if you in Philly and you coming up here, you doing your thing, man. You from whatever side, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You representing Philly, you representing the culture. So we on that. Shout out to every Philly guy you bought up here. Shout out to everyone you gonna bring up here in the future. That's facts. Big shout out to Philly, man. Yeah, I'm excited, but I am excited to have you here today. I'm excited to be here, man. I definitely, you know, definitely want to come represent my city the right way. Right. North to be exact. Shout out to whole Philly, but. I'm here, man. We here. I'm just, I'm, I'm ready. Like, we got the cameras up, but you know, I know you got to ask your questions you want to, so you know, we going, you know. No, it was funny because it. before I was like, yo, you don't really do a lot of interviews. And then you said the last interview you did was with Will I Am. That's and a I, fact. Is, that's not on YouTube, is it? No, that's actually out on YouTube. You can actually go look that I was up. Look, I was trying to look for it before, before when you mentioned it. So go look that up. So, shout out, shout out, shout out Will too. Shout out Will I Am too. How do you that's look up, how does Will I Am become the person who interviews you? Like how no, we was oh, no, see, for it. see what happened was we was out LA and all that. This was around the time I just got with him. You know, he called me up. He wanted to show love. We was uh -huh. out there doing what we do. I was making music. You feel me? They had an interview set up. It was a joint uh -huh. interview. We got an interview. You see that? Yeah, yeah. that I was know. four years ago. You've had you some stuff up. Sometime. So that was that was like yeah. So that was the last time. I don't really do the interviews, but I plan this year to pop out, show my face more. I just move how I move though. As far as like, if the work not matching what I got going on, I feel like I ain't trying to just be out just to be out because right. I can be out because I am who I am. You get what I'm saying? Facts. I want to put the work in and then have a reason for as we sitting down. Damn, I see you doing it. Yeah, that's what it really going to be this year. When was that's the first time you met Will? How how did that happen? How's that link up first happen? We out in New York. Okay. Shout out. You feel me? We out in New York with it. We was going to this. Uh, we was at this little convention. It was a nice little get together. Nas wanted me to, uh, you know, pop up to the uh, party with him. His brother, shout out, shout out Nas too, by the way. His brother, his folks in there, we was just chilling, grooving. They was in the section, everybody turning up, everybody getting lit as they should. It was a nice vibe in there. I'm on the couch. I'm in my phone with it. Like, I ain't really, because I'm so, like, I'm, I'm on the type of time, like, I'm around greatness. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not, I ain't trying to waste the moment to live in the moment, just partying. Like, it might be any second this man get turned up enough, because he was getting turned, you feel me? Shout out not, but he was getting turned. But it might be any second, he could be like, damn, I'm, let's go to the stool. I'm in that vibe. And right. I'm from here with that. I'd rather be ready than instead of getting ready. It just so happened, Will, Will was there, you feel me? And he said, I was watching him. That's actually in that interview if you pull that up. But he said, I was watching him. So we around Nas and all these people, and there's a lot going on. He's the only one just on his phone writing raps. I'm like, yo, I got to be around that energy. And I was just like, damn, I appreciate that coming from somebody who's been in the game. As long as you've been in the game and accomplished what you accomplished. But that's just how I, like, what happened after that? My fault, because I started, I started drifting off. We, after we left there, we actually went to the studio. Like, that's the crazy part, but not the record, just the one, some vibing, mm -hmm. and then we got up out of there. That's how that night went, though. That's crazy. And that's usually how I go. You have a lot of stories like that? I feel like you have I, I really do, though. <laughs> I got a lot of stories, but once again, like, I'm the type of guy who, like, being honest, shout out to all my past accomplishments, and shout out to my future ones, because it will be a lot this year. But I'm saying, like, I like to just work. Like, I don't like to, like, I like to work. I want to tell you new stories. Like, right now, we just properly met. You feel me? For the first time. Right. I'm already trying to tell you what I'm planning to do once I leave this couch and go, you feel me? Do what I do in the city. Right. I definitely got Ed Dali here doing the freestyle, right? You mean? I ain't even going to get too much up, but yeah, in the city. Right. That's how we coming. Right. How and coming. so you started talking about the debut album, right? Yeah, the, the best, best is yet, yet to come. come. 
and I know people have been probably asking for a while oh, because man. like I've been, you know, you've been you've been dropping, but you've been dropped, but like it's kind of been like a little sporadic here and there. So I'm sure people have been wondering yeah. what's is the, been going on when the, the album's coming. It's the inconsistency and shout out the fans that called me on that. Shout out to every fan and supporter that called me on that. It's the inconsistency. So that's something I gotta tight, tighten up on. And that's something I'm actually tightening up on. So I'm working through that phase. I've been saying I was honest. I've been saying I was going to drop, but it's been a lot going on behind the scenes. Like I didn't know how I really was with, let's say, engineering with these beats. Like that's a real thing. Like getting clamorance, time over. Like that's a real thing between that, between a lot of behind the uh, scenes things going on and was going on. It was just a lot. But like I'm not here to make excuses. If I messed up, I gotta stand on that. Like if I lost momentum messing up, I gotta stand on that. I'm here though. Like. But you're also learning, like like you said, you're like learning right now through it all because oh, it's like fact. clearances is something that uh you know when you're when you're like starting off as an artist you don't really think about because it's just like I'm gonna drop on YouTube I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that it's fine sure. it is what it is but then when you like start getting popular and you start getting bigger and then you realize that like as you're a bigger artist people can like sue you for these things and shit like That's that a then real it's like thing. take take your uh your video right off YouTube right you feel me? exactly which you see a lot now no 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 I see a lot I see a lot so I try to be on my toes I try to be on my toes with it. Right. So this album, why do you feel like, why why the best is yet to come? Honestly, I feel like, and I know everybody ever see this, that's why I hate being categorized. But anyway, I feel like this is just something that's like fresh for the culture. Like, I'm coming in a lot of ways. Like, I feel like the way I, the way I bring it, like the energy I bring to it, is like I come from a city of all spitters, like animals, vultures, really like that, like really like that. So it's like... Everybody get they when you rap, it's all about how you get your point across. It's all about believability. Like right, yeah, anybody yeah. could rap, but it's like, I really feel like he did that, or I feel like he would do that to me. So I try to, it's kind of hard for me because I don't really be like, I really, if everybody in the right lane, I'm on the left lane. So <laughs> I got, you get what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah. you got to really look at the details of it. For me to be over here in Gilligan's Island, right? And it's still gravitating, bright times more than you give me whoever doing anything, shout out to everybody. But it's like, People feel it. Like I really give you stories. Like I give you real life moments. Like I'm like my music say everything that I go through. My music say everything I've been through, through the ups, the downs, money, no money, tough times, up out relationships. Like this is really going on. So the best is yet to come just gonna have all that in one. And I feel like the only thing I'm mad at during my transition through year one to year four, nobody gonna hear the growth in my music. Like if I sounded like this and needed to tighten up on this in year two, I did that and nobody wouldn't even except for my guys. Cause the only thing that helped me and hurt me at the same time was not releasing music. Mm, but okay. I rather I'm always been one of them guys, if I'm gonna do something, if it's not right, why do it wrong? Like I don't like to just try to get away with stuff because of my past accomplishments. Like I could still sound corny. Like, you get what I'm saying? I could sound rusty. Like, you get what I'm saying? So I gotta make sure when you see me, you gonna know. Like right now, when I get ready to spit, in your heart of hearts, I I think you got a good idea. Like, I'm curious what he about to say, but I got a feeling he going, you get what I'm saying? Right, but I, I know you're gonna kill it, like regardless. But see, just to have that, just for just for you to say that, that's me, like, that's me making sure like I'm on my a A's and B, like you get what I'm saying, yeah. like because anything less is disrespectful, and it's like, like on this, like I said, it's been a lot going on in my personal life. I don't really get into the I don't really let the world into my personal life as far as like that, cause I like to, I like to move a certain way unless it's more. Yeah, but should, yeah. I like really lost, like I lost like brothers, like I, I like like really lost brothers to this. So it's like I couldn't stop if I wanted to, like, cause they ain't just pass away for nothing. You right. feel me? Like they ain't just, that ain't we ain't on that. So just go for the bros, like for the fan, for the friends. Like at the end of the day, we try and get to the next level. Like, is that how you like kind of deal with those things, like yourself, like just? Keep working and shit like that. Like, how do you personally do. I, deal with like? I, I just take and... it. I take it head on. Like when I lose a friend, like, like it's like when I lose a friend, like a close friend, like an immediate friend, like somebody I really like, like is going to affect me. It kind of take me out that that mood. Like it kind of like damn, I should stop. Mm -hmm. But then it'll always catch me as it be that time where it be like I have a memory of what we had or what we was doing. It be like yo, bro, you going? Yo, bro, you got the. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? They yeah. not here to say that no more. So it's like that energy that uh, that voice or that certain person. Like if these two guys, I know why they these two guys here. These my two guys. I know what they do. I know, but this is my guy that's going. You feel those my two guys in two different areas. That's like I can't without them. But in this area, this is my guy. That's like no. Oh, see that shit. Like you feel me and bring it out of me. So when you lose that, like when you lose that extra, 
like front, it, it kind of it kind of sets you back, and then you gotta replace it with a. You can never replace it, but it's like you gotta replace that void with a. Well, all right, damn, all right, now I bring my day threes and I got my day fours, and I was like, that's what this life, you know, bring. But we, I just stand on everything I say. I stand on everything I do, and it's like we gonna grind, we gonna build it up. I take all that pain and just dish it back out times two. Right. You right. know, with the album, is there is it just all you on it? Oh no no no! I couldn't go out like that. I got some big name features on that album. I got some can you Grammy give, can name you give features one? on that album. I'm gonna give you one because why not? I got my guy. Shout out to him. He doing this thing. Been doing this thing. Anthony Hamilton. You probably heard of him. I'm pretty you sure. Know those, yeah, I'm pretty small, sure. You probably small you know, little artist. You know, small probably, little you know, artist. You know, yeah, small like artist. Just a little, you know, no, but that's no, incre- no, that's incredible. Out. No, yeah, definitely. Like shout out to Big Bro Anthony Hamilton. We definitely got something. We got that Peoples coming, man. Like that that soul music that. Touch your heart music, like we really got that coming. How do you how do you meet someone like Anthony Hamilton? How do you first get in tune? How do you first kind of make that introduction? Uh, well, physically, we didn't even we didn't even like physically we didn't even meet yet. All this was going on because we met like pre the end of the the Corona wave, like so everybody mm-hmm. still on it. You get me? But he reached out. You feel me? He said, "Yo, like you you different. Like I like." I like what you bring to the table, and we just kept that humble relationship. Like, mm-hmm. just was before we even made music, we was just rapping. He said, "Listen, if there's anything you need, any advice you need, anything like that, holla at me." And it was like, "Damn, that was thorough." Because this, like, Anthony Hamilton, like he been here twenty plus, still doing his thing. So I just felt good about that when we got together to make that first track, Peoples. It was like, oh my god! I said, "Yo, I had my verses done to it." I'm like, I ran it, but I'm like, "Yo, Anthony said if you need anything." Let me know. So I'm like, damn, <laughs> like you feel me? Like, let's see what it's here for. I say, yo, Anthony, uh, what's your number and all that? You know, I got, I got, I got this track, and I, I just hear you on it. Gave me his number, no issue. We call. I sent him the track. Two hmm. minutes later, he sent back all flame. I'm like, oh my god. I sent this track back to you. He sent it back. Like I can't like. I think he sent it back. If not that second day, it was like a 72 hour period. And once I heard the. Mm-mm. I'm like, oh yeah, we got one, we got one. So we definitely, I, that's a, that's a, definitely a track I can't wait for the world to hear. So you're really sitting on like a lot of big features and a lot of dope stuff that the people don't even even know about yet, type shit. Unless you're inside the inner circle, then no, like it's a lot of good kind. Like it'll be like I be hearing like one thing about me, I hear a lot. Like I hear a lot, I see the comments, I see the, I see all that. You feel me? But my thing is, I don't feed into it because it's like I'm, I feel like I'm gonna be backtracking. Like yeah. I know what's going on and I just. I'm going to let that be known, but I'm saying I don't get caught in the stuff that it take me out of my moment or my zone. Like, I'm going to make the music, the music going, you know, reflect what's going on, though, for sure. But it's always going to be real life. Like, it's none of that. I jumped out the drum with Draco and hit. I, don't, I can't even rap like that. But I'm <laughs> telling you, it's going to yeah. be something that's like, watch that car. You feel me? Right. Watch right. that. You get me? Like, that's what I be on. Because in my city, you got to remember, I come from Philadelphia. Like, we already, as far as murder rate, it ain't too many you can't say murder rate without naming my city in it. So it's really like that. Like, I'm really a type person. You won't catch quiet at Wawa for too long. You won't catch me at a gas station for too long. You be in and out. You feel me? You just got to move accordingly. You move accordingly to the city, the city going to move accordingly to you. Right. Do you think you'll ever leave? You said the what? Do you think you'll ever leave, Philly? Well, what? Heart-wise, never. Heart-wise, well, never. of course, heart-wise, heart-wise yeah, yeah, yeah. heart-wise, of course. You can but I mean, be, be I like, mean, if I left the, New York City. The, and that's the you know typical, and that's the, and that's the, like, that's like, the, I feel like that's the most programmed question to say, like, would you ever leave your city? And it's like, of course, I'm going to leave my city, you feel me? Because I, I want to show my city what I accomplished, what I'm trying to accomplish, and I want to show y'all that, like, damn, I mm-hmm. come from where y'all come from. Like, we on this. This this possible. So, Which this album is definitely going to, you know. I feel like what this is going to do, because I don't, I don't really like shooting for the, like, like, saying, like, out-of-pocket stuff, all this number. I'm, I just feel like. This gonna be a good introduction to who LGP Choir is like. Like it's gonna be like, all right, we know he could rap. Oh, he's a good rapper. Oh, he could rap his ass. So we know that. But can he throw a song? Like, I mean, like, can he really do a song? Like, like, chill, like I feel like this gonna be that. Like, no, he can do a song. Like, cause only my only my inner circle will, will hear a song and be like, yo, bro, why you been there? Oh, my family will hear a track and be like, oh, you playing, man? You gotta get to get. So it's like. I hear if they saying this, I know what the outside saying. But me, that keep me like ground and stable. I know. Just think, like, think strategical, quiet. Like, what would one of the greatest do? Or, like, how would one of the greatest move? Like, you still here. As long as you're alive, you can still make a dent in the world. Like, it's mm. not being alive that's going to kind of slow you up. So, that's how I look at it. As long as I'm here, I'm going I'm to be able to do what I do. Because I believe in everything I say. I believe in everything I stand for. And when I say I'm the voice of the youth, I don't just say that because it really sound good. It's catchy. It's, it's trendy. It's whatever. When I say that, I say that to say, like, 
I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you how to act. I'm just giving you my story. And maybe you went through the same, but this is really what's going on with me. Like, real life moments that I probably didn't even divulge to the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I put it in the music. That's why so many people grasp to the freestyles or if it's I can't even be in a category saying my music music to my project. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna do I ain't even wanna do no interviews for real for real, but I just want the world to know like Quad coming, like he back, he better than ever. Like Oh well, and, thank you for at least like me, you know. Come on now, we on the radar, right? Yeah, we so definitely we definitely like, on the radar. Are we bro. on that. So yeah, though, like I just came through and like I said, shout out to your platform. You feel me? I see y'all really doing your thing. Like, so you know. It's just contagious energy is what I like to call it. Right, fast. I was actually going to ask you about the voice of the, uh, the youth thing, but thank you for answering the question without me even having to no, ask No, no, that's, yeah, like, it just, it grew on the sun of its own. I'm not going to lie to you. What do you mean? You. Like, I was coming, I did my first freestyle. Mind you, when I came home, I did my first freestyle. I only had, like, probably, like, 13, 12 followers or whatever. But every week, like, every week I came home, I made sure, like, yo, I got to drop, like, I ain't know what's going on, but I just got to drop. Like, so I see, I didn't know nothing. I was like really green when I came home. I didn't know nothing. I just knew, all right, these the people, like the influence that's shaking and moving with a name. All right, cool. These the rappers. All right, but get in your bag. I came home August, August something, and come every since August, I dropped a video every week. You get me? I think about time the fourth video was a lot going on with Meek. Like, mm -hmm. you know, was you know, shout out to Meek. But it was a lot going on with Meek or whatever with his uh legal situation. Right. So around that time, I'm like, damn, how can I end this off? Like, cause there's a lot of nut shit going on. And I just said, like, it just was an urge to just say free Meek. And it was like that freestyle to this day. Between that freestyle and I'ma say, I'ma say between that freestyle, fight the power. It's so many, I ain't gonna lie, but it was just a lot that brought the world to me. Like, you get what I'm saying? I, like, really, like, damn, like, I felt that. So that's what I feel like the uh, best is yet to come gonna be. Like, it's really gonna be on that. Like, and, like, shining a lot of light of, like, Philly. Yeah, and... like, definitely shining. Not even on Philly, like, just, like, real, like, yeah, I'm gonna say Philly, but, like, just real, like, all around, like, real life. Like, everybody gonna do the same thing nowadays, I feel like. Everybody losing somebody. Everybody, every, it's divide and conquer now. Like, it's either you with that or you not. If you not with that, you know what's up. Like, shit like that. So it's like, it's an all around type project. Like every is nothing that's like it ain't boxed in. If you know what I mean. Right, like, yeah, I yeah. hit every, I hit everything with this project. Like from young boys, the old head, the shorties, to the to the to the nigga that can fight, but not with the pistol play. But to the nigga that can't fight that with the pistol play. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like right. it's like I touched every angle with it, and it's it's, it's LGP quiet. It ain't this. It ain't that. It ain't that. It's gonna be something when all this shit over with, and all we just. We in the past, it's gonna be saying you're gonna look back. It's gonna be saying you're gonna look back. And be like, this is the shit. You like, young boy, really, like, he had, like, in his time, in his whatever, like, when we, like I said, when we all going, when I'm going and out the way, like, however it go, it's gonna be them people that, like, yo, in his time, young boy was a something, like, young boy really was, like, he talked that shit. Hate him, love him, talk about him, no talk, but young boy talk that shit, like, I'm forever talk that shit, because that's the environment I be around, the friends I be around, the family I be around, the situations I. By the grace of God, got out and got in. So it's like, yeah, I'm a, as long as I'm around that all the time, I'm never going to have nothing like fake to say because this is all real. Like, right. Real life. And you like an actual like storyteller with your music, which I feel like not like in like all forms of rap yeah, now, yeah, but like it's not, it's not always like storytelling isn't always the main focus of, of music nowadays. Exactly. And I like the reason I like storytelling because it's like I ain't going to lie. Like, between, like I came up on it. Like I said, I like Nas. I like G Herbo. R.I.P. King Von, like mm. when they tell you a story. Well, King, for real, real quick. King Von's level of storytelling was insane with his records that's a too. Fact. I just gotta say that because like that, like fact. his shit would actually be an entire you get what I'm story saying? You from beginning it. to end. You know so what I'm saying? So I feel like every, for every, surely. every, every story, like every story, like I heard from any of the three I just said. Like, yeah, it's like I feel where they going with that story. Like I'm not getting off track with it. I know exactly. They taking me everywhere they need to take me. Like I was always a fan of that because I'm like. When you story tell, it's kind of like that really, like that really could just happen. Like I'm saying, what I do, cool. Everybody do that, but what just happened or what he about to do to somebody, I feel like that's just it's different. Cause like, damn, like yo, remember last week, bro? He just what you get me? It's like people could relate to that. So I go to that a lot. Like I ain't gonna lie, I like storytelling because I really, once again, like I can only speak on what I see go through here. Or you get me? Yeah, this is real life, bro. Yeah. I want to ask, I know you and friends have been friends for quite some time. How did you and friends first fact. meet? So listen, right? I did, this was around a, I, I, I can't forget it. 
Once again, Instagram is always the is a, listen. That's how I don't know, but look, Instagram. So boom, I just did the. It was a challenge going on. I feel like it was the the fabulous challenge. Okay, I remember yeah, doing yeah. this like I had my RIP to RPO. I had my guys in the uh, I had my guys in the vet with me. You feel me? I did that freestyle. It was a lot of people that did it. Shout out to everybody that did it. I really fucked with Young Christian. He murdered that. Joint. Yeah, but, yeah, you get what yeah, I'm saying. Was tough, it was a yeah. lot. It was a lot going on. You mean? But I did that joint. His uh his uh his bodyguard reached out at first. It was uh one of my good personal friends, but oh, wow, okay. we both was in jail together. So it was like, all right, but he reached out and said, Yo, uh, cuz filling that track, man. I mean he filling that joint, like, what's up, you signed or whatever? Then he DM'd me and said, Damn, you signed? I'm like, no, nah, bro, I'm man, I'm I'm just out here, I'm grinding, I'm working, mm -hmm. you feel me? Come to Miami. Now this was in Corona, like smack dad Corona. He said, Come on, Miami. No bullshit became Miami the second day. He had a reef waiting for me at the airport. We drew Miami. I met him for the first time. He said, "You, you hard. You ain't signed to nobody. Let's get it. Dope. You get what I'm saying? End up on his project, all that good shit. That's a fact. You feel me? And if I'm not mistaken, he definitely got another project about to drop. I want to say is that CB6. So be in tune. Not in tune. <laughs> a little small, little exclusive. Just a little bit. Just a little, little on the low, on the low, low. If you catch it in the interview, you know. catch it. If you don't, you don't. If you don't, you don't. If you know, you know. But that's just the Scorpio with me. But what else we was talking about? That's the Scorpio. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's mad funny. So, okay, so the project's coming out. Um, after this, so, like, what else you have planned for this year? You have anything else in the works kind of going the, on? After the project, God willing, wants to come out. After the project, I just plan to go super hard. Like, I just plan to flood the streets with as much consistency as I can. Mm. If that means videos at the videos, singles at the singles, that means freestyles at the freestyles. Like, whatever I'm doing, I'm doing my way. Like, right. I ain't never been one of them who, like, all right, you see how they doing it? This how it got to be done. Or you see how they doing it? We got to do it like I'm quiet. Like it's like if I'm gonna sink the ship. I'm gonna look back at nah, I'm gonna I sink, sink the, the ship. ship. Like, but if I take us to that island, right? You get what I'm like? We gonna just do this? Like I, I feel like I just do things my way. Like I don't really be caught up what people say. Like, cause at the end of the day, one thing I learned and what I'm learning, people gonna say what they gonna say. People gonna think what they gonna think. Everybody got their own opinions, and I listen every time because I might not know what that person. Know. It could be a three year old baby talking. I'm gonna listen. Feel me? But what I'm saying is, they all had their ways of how they did it. We don't know how somebody did it, how that person do it. So mm -hmm. how I do it is how I do it. And by the grace of God, it worked. By the grace of God, it probably, you know, take me where I really need to be. But if it don't, I could look back and say, damn, at least I did it my way. Like I tried my style. Like, Fire, yeah. And from the looks of it, I, I must be on the sign. You work? Yeah, you, you up right now. So I mean, my, like, something I must be working I'll, right now. I'll, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm just saying, bro. So, like, you mean voice of the youth. Let's get paid. LGP quad. That'd be the motto. Also, so, you know, obviously being from Philly and me, you know, getting more in tune with what goes on out there in terms of artists and whatnot. Who are some Who are some people that we got to look out for coming out of Philly right now that you personally fuck with? Now, see, I had a feeling that was coming up now. I got to make sure because before this narrative get like, damn, like, quad I don't like scent. All I'm saying is this, right? This is the fence. There mechanism. do be a lot of there no, do no, be a but, lot of artists. But I'm saying, you know what but I'm remember what I'm about to say, because this might be the new trend that other artists start saying. Like, okay, okay, hey, I just hey, feel hey, like hey. what I'm about to say right now is a defense mechanism. Uh, respectfully, it's right. like I don't want to say an artist's name, right? And then two weeks later, we beef, and that's like, damn, this forever going to be on this interview. But I don't want it to come off like I, I never don't show up. Like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I said this. Uh, this my defense mechanism. Mm. Since I'm from Philly, and like I said, like if you know, you know, you from Philly, I go off of classes. Like I sometimes I be comparing rap and the basketball. So I'm gonna say my class was the 2018 class. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you know, you know what's going on in this city. 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. So those are the people like. You get me? So I say the 2021 class, a lot of people from the 2019 class still doing their thing. Mm -hmm. and definitely a lot of people from this new 2021 and 2022 class. Like, so that's how that go. Can I, tell you, who, you know. can I tell you who I want to see on your album? Talk to me. All right, I want to see, because I saw that they follow you. I saw, I saw Benny and Jim Jones follow you, right? Shout and out I, to them. And I was thinking about, I'm like, damn. A song, well, not a song with all three, y'all, but I like got, just anything with y'all. Hold up, though. I got, I got, I got a little story to tell real fast. That I, I, uh, shout no, out no, like, go ahead, go ahead. You good, no, you no, no, no. Uh, listen, right with, with the with the with the Jim Jones, you know, my man. <laughs> listen, my man, my man's in the room with me right now because I was with him. I usually always mob with him. So, what are we talking about? Because there's uh, a lot of people man, in this room. Uh, my man Kuda. Okay. Ten times out of ten, nigga probably went to the bathroom. But listen, <laughs> we uh we in New York, right? Mm. Mind you, we uh like like I think we was in Manhattan with it. As I'm going by, I see, we see a group. My man's right here on point for me because I'm. I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to look. For, I was doing something, but it's just me and him. It's us two mobbing. Like this was around. I'm just getting started with the music, and I ain't really what was high. Like, young now, like 2019. Yeah, I said around that time. Like yeah. life, life ain't hit me high. Like it ain't. You get me? I'm a shell of my old self. How I was. So we just we walking. Like we just walking. 
we see a group of people come out the door. So he said, yo, who these niggas looking at us? Or whatever the case. So I look over there like, it's a little distance. So it either worry. It's like, <laughs> it's like we could do, but I'm like, all right, what's going on? You know, make sure, you know. I see Jim. It was Jim right there with his peoples. They came out. He said, damn, Carl, that's you like, you good? Because he looking at it because he probably like, fuck going on. But we really was trying to get somewhere. Like, if he was here, he'd say, like, it was a real story. But we was trying to get somewhere. We got there, though. But he's like, damn, you good? Like, we all out of breath. We sweating. He like, listen, if you need anything, you need your bed. You good? I'm like, no, no, I'm good. I appreciate that, dude. Just like, he was real. You mean? Like, he showed a lot of he love. He one of the ones. No, no, he definitely a thorough breed, man. I fuck with Jim Heavy. I fuck with Benny the Butcher Heavy. They both doing their thing and they music. Been doing their thing, so shout out to them. Right. I definitely want to see you and them get up one day, for sure. I feel like it's going, that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's going to happen. Like, But like I said, I'm one of them boys, like when people saying, damn, like how you saying, I feel like you should. But I feel no, like. I'm not saying nah, I, but like No, 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 I get what you're saying. I'm, respectfully. Yeah. respectfully. Yeah. I'm just saying. I feel like they probably say that same thing, but we gotta see you work, little nigga. Like you get them. Like I feel like every time somebody say you, I want to see you with this person. They want to see me work, little nigga. Like if somebody wants to see you with them, they gonna grab you. If they will fuck with your music, they gonna get you. They just gotta see what you doing. Like and I could be wrong, but that's how I think. And I feel like I'm gonna just work. And that's why I don't really want to do nothing with nobody because I feel like I ain't earned nothing. I ain't earned that yet to do something with somebody Mm -hmm. this year. I don't want them who go off for my thirty point game last season, like because it's like all right, you put up thirty. It's this season, though. You get what I'm saying? So, new season, new goals. Like, I can't live in the past because then I'm going to get content. If I get content, I'm going to just be another throwaway. So, that's what keep me like, no, we in New York. We're going to represent right. My folks in here. My friends in here. It's all love. We showing love. We on the radar. I'm about to fuck this joint up. <laughs> and that's just how it is. That's just my mentality. Respectful. Respect, respectfully. Respect. Respectfully. Respectfully. Well, look, I appreciate you being here, man. Um, by the time that this is out, the freestyle's already out, so make sure y'all go run that up. Please run um, that up. Before we sign off here for the day for the interview, let the people know they can follow you. Anything else you want to let them know, this camera right here is all you. Follow me on IG, man. LGP underscore Qua. Q-U-A. Feel me? Shout out to everybody that's been supporting me. Shout out to everybody that's going to be supporting me after y'all hear this heat. You know I mean? We coming. <laughs> There you, there you go. Make sure you go show them some love. The best is yet to come. That's a fact. The album on the way by the summertime. So if you watch this in the summertime, make sure you go stream it. Go show them some love. Go run up the freestyle. Go follow him. Support is free. Love is free. Till next time. 